Keith Urban, Shut Out the Lights. This is for KU1 Acoustic Jam. Uh, you said you couldn't find anything. You were right, because I couldn't find anything either. So um, what I did discover is it's tuned flat, and um, you wanted the acoustic, because there is electric in here. And here's what you're looking at. I'm Mike Gross, by the way. What's up? loops back so that gets you from the intro which is still the verse through all those parts until it repeats all right so um, let me show you how to do this let me make sure I'm in tune as well yes um, if you're a beginner this is gonna be tough I'll tell you right up right up front it's involving some bar chords and some big stretches um, it's acoustic which is thicker gauge strings a lot of stuff but it is tuned flat half step down the only thing I saw from anybody was an electric version, and it was capoed fret one. I don't think that's how it's done. I couldn't find anything live to compare it with. I really do think this is flat, a half step down. Second fret barred from strings five through one, and then third finger four G, pinky four B. Keep the knuckles up. Don't let them lean down. They're going to get in the way of these strings that we need. Um, I would suggest check it. But what's going to happen is the melody within the chord is just going to go. So if you can see that transition from the D sharp to the E, fret 4 on the B to fret 5 on the B, everything else is going to stay. So um, you'll strum all, all the strings. And then... And then you'll go pinky 5B bring it back and then bring it back again so the first subgroup is okay two palm mutes off the low E remember when you palm mute you should feel that bridge across your hand it should be not all mute but note mixed with it very key players have been playing a long time and struggle with that so we have then go four or five again on that B after the two palm mutes. Palm mute the open E once, then back to the four B. So we have. Oops. And then one open E palm muted again. So. And then go two times on the fourth fret. One on five, and then one on four. That's the rhythm. Repeat that exactly, but take the index down to string four, and we're going to have the open A string ringing. Be careful not to hit the low E when you're doing that. But the same beat, same uh, melody, the note change within the chord. The palm mutes are going to be off the open A now, right? Not the low E, because we're not playing the low E. So chord outline would be this. And then the next. That alone you're going to find is pretty tricky. It's melodic. Good stuff. Then vocals come in, and it's kind of a play off of that chord-wise, but um, not as much movement. In other words, so act as if you're starting over and go strum, palm mute, palm mute on the open E. Then pinky goes to five two openings palm muted and that'll go 
two times, and then go back one palm muted D to fifth fret. So, and then an open E palm muted at the end of that. So that's the concept, all right? Drop down to the open A, just like we did on the intro, do the same thing. Remember, we're not hitting the low E at all. Our palm mute is now off of string five, the open A string, which would be. Then back. Now it does that. Now when I played this in the intro, I forgot. When they leave that section, you're not playing a full time, the full measure on the A, open A one, where you're going. Instead go, if I remember this right, dang it. Or, I think it's going to be four, five, four, with the two open A's, palm muted in between. And then, this is an A2 to an A major. Um, second fret D, first finger. Second fret G, middle finger. Keep those knuckles up. Strum strings five through one. Um, then drop down to the C sharp. Second fret on the B, two times. So we have... Going from there to a B major. Uh, second fret A string. And then bar the fourth fret on the D, G, and B. It's tough if you've never barred with this finger. So, you may want to play it as an arpeggio first. It's there. Strum, rest, um, and then three strums. So it's. And again. Um, then, last part. It's an F sharp minor. Uh, 4D bar the second fret on the G and B. I'm not hearing this high F sharp. If if you want to put it in there, go for it. It's hard to tell with all the instruments mixed there, but go three strums on that. Strings four, three, and two. Then move the whole thing up a whole step and go middle finger five B and strum those three once. Three, four. So we have. And then. Back to what we did on the A2 to the A, right? Into the B. And that's it. You're back into the very beginning. Yeah. Or. I almost did the wrong part there for a second. So, anyways, take your time. Um, It'll come together, uh, I'd say, if you're approaching intermediate level. If you're a beginner, this might be a little too far advanced. In those cases, you can still work on stuff, but it'll do um, what I call string elimination, where you can take off a couple strings in the chord, and you can pick which ones you want to do and see how it sounds to you. Subgrouping is very important, though. Um, if these chords are still tough for you and you've been playing a while, play them as an arpeggio, which just means you're picking the notes of the chord, right? Um, and that will get you used to the form so your hand will just come down and nail it. All right, um, that's it. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, of course, so you can make your requests. Share this stuff. I appreciate you guys. YouTube.com slash Rocking Guitar Lessons 1. Uh, my website's RockingGuitarLessons.com. And hit me up if you're interested in some private lessons on Skype. I offer 60 and 30 minutes per week or bi-weekly. Um, email me, RockingGuitarLessons at Hotmail.com. And Mike at RockingGuitarLessons.com. Tag me on both. And, um, or you can read the description below to give you the price breakdown and also check into my CVT lessons. If you can't do the one-on-one -on, -one on Skype, that may be an option that you're interested in. So till next time, I'm Mike Gross. We'll see you guys later. And it's hot out here.